All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to this Diagnostic World video. Right now, we're in a Ford Focus, and we're going to uh, show you how to diagnose a faulty parking sensor. Um, the engine is off right now, and I'm going to put the, uh, the engine on, turn the key, and show you the fault message that we've been getting. So the engine is started, and we've got parking aid malfunction service required popping up on the dashboard. So it generally is a case, uh, or a, a, a sign that there is a faulty parking sensor or ECU or control unit somewhere along the line. Uh, we're going to be diagnosing it with this iCarsoft FD version 1.0 kit which is available by clicking the link below this video or you can go to directly www.diagnostic-world.com or just search for Diagnostic World in your search engine. Um, so this is a tool which will uh, diagnose all systems, um, you know, the, the likes of the engines, the ABS, transmission, airbags, and parking sensors. And I'll show you how to do that now. Uh, so we have the tool plugged into the, di uh, the diagnostic port, which is right about down there. And we're going to click on to Diagnostics. We're going to click on to Ford. And just work our way through the on-screen prompts here. We're going to manually select our system. So we need to scroll down to where it tells us uh, that the parking sensors module is. Uh, here we go, PAM, we've got parking aid module. So that will be the one. Uh, fo read fault code, quick warning message. Let's bypass that. And we've got B1B44. Um, state on demand DTC rear right outer sensor so it's um, the rear has a faulty sensor it's the right outer so it's the one towards the very end of the vehicle uh, or the very right hand side vehicle um, it's quite good at describing which sensor it is because on some vehicles say for example Mercedes it might say something like sensor 4 is faulty so you've then got to go and work out which one sensor 4 is uh, but this one is telling us it's on the rear and it's the right outer sensor so that's pretty good it might you, there'll also be a left uh, sorry a right inner sensor and then also alternately you get a left outer sensor and a left inner um, so they've described that really well that's one of two and the, the second one is just exactly the same sometimes it'll give you two but the ultimately the the, the, the warning message and the uh, description is exactly the same. So that's what we need to do now, put a new sensor in the uh, the rear of the vehicle. Once we've done that, then it's just really a case of clicking on clear fault memory and erasing the fault code, and then we'll no longer get that warning message, uh, which pops up every time we start the car. But as I say, it's, uh, it's an excellent tool. It's the FD version 1.0 kit. It is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com, and I will put the link to this kit in the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps. Thank you.